computer. And we are a go. So welcome everyone. Uh, your host Cy Smith coming to you on a Wednesday. Every Wednesday is economic day. Every Wednesday, you guys. So I'm coming to you on a blue Wednesday. I don't have blue on today. Please forgive me. What you're looking at on the screen here, hopefully you, this is what you guys are seeing here on the screen. Um, hopefully this is what you guys can see here. It says Black America buying power. The source is Target Market News. Uh, our brother Ken Smichael um, is the founder. He's on um, the beloved, no longer with us. But um, this brother in Target Market News, which um, couldn't find out if they were still in business or not, but just giving them the credits for putting this together, I typed it up um, verbatim from what they put together. So I want you guys to see this. This is the buying power that we have exhibited. Let me get my annotations up so you guys can see this and I can really point to some stuff here. Uh, look at this. This was 19 years ago, 20 years ago. I wanna go through these topics. So you can see how much money we were dealing with back then. Now, given the economy now, it could go both ways. It could go higher because of the time we're in, or it could have went lower because of the economy we're in. But the bottom line is there's some collective power that we have as a people. And the quicker we begin to uh, flex the coordination of that, that power that we have, we're going to start to see tremendous change in our neighborhoods. So I wanted to make sure that you guys walk through um, what we're doing to do our part when it comes to this. Now, it looks like uh, I'm going to leave the screen up. Hopefully, you guys can see that. I need to do one thing here to make sure that we are on Facebook Live here. Yep, they said we're not. So I'm going to keep recording. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, you guys will watch it later. So let me just keep on going with what we were already doing. We're not going to be on Facebook Live, and that's perfectly fine. We're going to go through what we were talking about at any rate. Okay, so let me get back to the screen. Stop sharing this screen. We're going to get into... Okay. All right, so let's get to it, you guys. First, let's look back at what I was just sharing with you guys. I want to just go through these numbers real quick about how much money <laughs> buying power we have, how much we are giving to other groups and, and one of the challenges in our community is because we keep giving that, that revenue to these other people who um, can care less about what we're going through uh, that hurts us and so we you know we had to get to a place where we're not doing that you guys and so uh, when you look at these numbers then I want to go into how um, we're going to try to focus on all of our uh, different industries affecting our uh, black community. If we do it the right way, we'll be able to impact each of our industries. And I'm going to go through which industries we're focused on today, this whole week, the first, uh, the third Wednesday of each month, and why we're focused on those and how your turn will come up. <laughs> if you stick with us, your turn will come up. So let's get to it. Uh, so real quick, I'm gonna go through these real, real quick. All right, so we got the year here. So we're gonna go with the last year, the latest year here. All right, 20, let me make this bigger for you guys. Let me make it real big. Is that big enough? <laughs> Is that big enough for you guys? I want y'all to see this. Let's make this big enough for you guys to see this. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Let's make this big enough for you guys to see this when you're watching it on YouTube. All right, so let's clear that a little bit. Let's get to right here. We're going to talk about this year right here. We're going to talk about this year right here of 2001. So we're talking 19 years ago, black people. Remember, this is what we did as black people, you guys. The title here is Black spending power 
black spending power is how much we spent. Okay, so let's get to it. Appliances. Altogether, back then we spent six hundred and one billion dollars nineteen years ago. Nineteen years ago. All right, I'm just testing this out, you guys. On appliances, twenty-two point three billion. On alcoholic beverages, one point five billion. On non-alcoholic, two point nine billion. So I guess that's good. <laughs> we spent more on non-alcoholic than alcoholic beverages. Um, uh-oh, I need to move. If I'm gonna be moving this, I have to clear those drawings out. Uh, books. This is a big number. This is a big number, 2.4 billion on books. We spent more on books than we did on alcoholic beverages. That's good. Uh, look at this, new cars and trucks in the millions. That's better than spending, we spent more on alcohol than we did cars, so that's good. 30 billion, that's even better. 30 billion on computers, technology, so there we go. All right, consumer electronics, let's clear this out. Let's scroll down a little bit further here. Um, now, this is where it gets crazy at, and I think this is beautiful. Look at this right here. On education, we spent $9 billion. Now, we need to see a breakdown on where did that go? Where did that go? We spent $5 billion on leisure and entertainment. So all those people going on boat cruises, I guess this is where it goes at. Uh, food, 2.4 billion. So that's not a lot, given we spent 2.5 billion on drinks. So uh, that's something. Now this is the highest. This is the uh, second highest, most money we spent as a people in 19 years ago, and that is right here. Can nobody tell me we're not a given people? 52 billion dollars. 52 billion dollars on gifts, helping other people. Man, we are giving people, totally giving people. All right, let's go down. 11 billion on housewares. Um, 52 billion is the highest. Keep that in mind. This is the highest, the highest, period, insurance. Now, are we getting a return on this investment? The next highest thing was 52 billion, and that was dealing with gifts. That was dealing with gifts, you guys. So just imagine, double that, and it is all about insurance. How is we? How are we leveraging this insurance to make a difference in our community? Think about all our entrepreneurs who's in the insurance industry. How are they giving back? How are we making sure we're building up our community? Uh, we spent six billion on media. I don't know, almost seven billion on media. Five billion on personal hair care products. Hopefully these are black owned. As you know, uh, our people, some of our young people are doing hair grow products. So the more we can tap into black owned there, that's $5 billion 19 years ago. Sports and recreation, were these for our teams? Probably not. <laughs> so uh, this is a big deal, you guys. I want you to know the power, the power that we uh, have and exhibit. Now here's a problem. And we're done. It looks like we're done here. Here's a major problem. Now, Look at how much we spent on killing ourselves. It's a problem. Remember, we spent 2.4 billion that year on food. So we spent almost six times that much on a habit, on a habit. 1.5 billion on alcohol, which is another habit, but 13 billion on tobacco. Come on, black people. We can do a lot with 13 billion, not million, billion. Then this is a good one here, travel. We need to get out. We need to explore, see other things. So to spend $5 billion on travel, that's cool beans there. So I just wanted to make sure you guys saw this is from 19 years ago. Uh, been trying to get our hands on the latest or more up-to-date version. Haven't been able to do that thus far. Uh, so that's what we have right there. Let's get on to another screen here. Uh, this other screen that I want to pull up is going to direct our attention toward these uh, brochures and uh, the reason these brochures should matter to you and me is because for the most part um, we've gone in every zip code in black chicago and we said let's make sure that the black businesses in that zip code get to know each other to me this is one of the achilles heels in our community 
is the black businesses not working with each other, not circulate money with each other, not doing business with each other. I think this is one of the things that we just have to do better at because if we're saying to people, uh, black businesses, we're saying residents go and support black businesses and for black businesses not to be circulating money within each other, it kind of works counter to what we're trying to do, which is circulate. We can't just put it all on the residents to circulate. We have to circulate too. So let's let's get at it. This is zip code 60609. This, these are called business guides right here. Um, these are the boundaries of that neighborhood, which is 35th, <laughs> I'm butchering that, <laughs> 35th to 55th state to Western. And these are just some of the black businesses here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can really see these businesses here. I don't zoom in that much. But I want you guys to be able to really see this because these businesses here, all right. Um, we got daycares right here. We, uh, this lounge is closed now. Um, daycare, Power and Sons is black construction. That's a big deal there, Southside Federal Credit Union. Uh, then we got Sonia Purdue, Sister Sonia Purdue. Got the Black Business Network, place an ad with her to keep her supported, 312. 481-3361. She's a big supporter of us. So this is that one zip code, one zip code. Uh, as we move on here, I'm going to not spend too much time. I just want you guys to see the various zip codes that we have with these directories in and why it makes sense for people to support what we do at $12 a year. <laughs> like this is some big stuff we're doing here when you think about it. This is another zip code. Then look at these black businesses in the zip code. Like all of these black businesses, none of them is supporting this $1 a month, this $12 a year that we have. And the challenge with that is it makes it harder for us to print these and deliver them, print them and get them, email them to people. It makes it harder if the businesses here don't see value enough to circulate uh, $12 a year or support 12 people's 12 hours, which is 144 for the year. And they get that back at the uh, end of the year. But these businesses in this zip code, if they were to really support us, we'd be able to really get these in the hands of the people who live in this zip code right here, 60620. Uh, so I'm gonna go quickly now. This is zip code 60621. Uh, these are the businesses in that zip code, not as many as you can see in 60620. You got a lounge called John's Hardware right here. You got Amber Cafe right here. Cultural Connections is an anchor in the community. Same with Deli King. We move on to the next zip code. Um, okay, 60629 zip code right here. So as you can see here, we got barbershops. We got a restaurant, Garfuna restaurant. Granny B's closed down. Again, by probably not lack of support. This is a pillar, W.W. Jackson Funeral Home, been there a long time. Tracy, she sells insurance. We should support them. Remember, $130 billion, 773-592-1053 uh, in that zip code there. So as you can see, you guys, we have these 20 directories covering every, all 20 of our black zip codes. So I'm gonna stop here just so you guys can see. This is what we've built here. So that every zip code, look at that black cleaners right here, Esquire Cleaners, 6825 Western. Um, so let me just stop there because now I want to just look in the camera and, and just talk to you guys about what should be happening. So let me stop sharing here and then I'm going to wrap this up. All right. We are in position because we have 20 U.S. cities linked to 20 Chicago zip codes. So every day, today is uh, Dallas, Texas, linked to Chicago's Roseland because every third Wednesday is Roseland's duty day, therefore making it Dallas, Texas duty day. Um, both of those jurisdictions are linked to South Africa, so it is South Africa's duty day out of the 55 countries there. That's structure, but I just gave you a structure and it repeats. So if you miss this month, catch it next month on the third Wednesday. So it's very forgiving. Now, the key here, though, is when we think about Black businesses, there's two things that we've done to structurally change Black America. One, every grade, kindergarten all the way up to 12th grade, we link different professions to every single grade. We needed a structural anchor 
to make sure that education was on the forefront. And I'm not talking their education. I'm talking about knowing how to read and write, knowing your uh, linkages to Africa. That's the education we're talking about. So we link every grade to one of those different businesses. So all barbers, we have linked to eighth graders. All beauticians linked to fourth graders. All uh, car washes linked to fifth graders. This is important structurally, you guys, long term. When I'm dead and gone, still keeping this going. This is important stuff here, right? Then we link every Wednesday, which is economic day. We link every Wednesday to uh, supporting specific black businesses because there's so many. So every Wednesday, so I'm gonna run through that and then we're done. So every first Wednesday, we make sure that we pull together all people in apparel, all people in apparel, all beauticians, all chefs, all DJs, all entertainers, all restaurants, all seamstress and tailors, all people in the travel world, travel industry. Every first Wednesday, hopefully you can write that down. Every second Wednesday, we pull together beauty supply stores, black owned car washes, cell cellular store uh, owners, dry cleaners, house cleaners, carpet cleaners, daycares, gas station owners, landlords, liquor store owners, nail salons, realtors, uh, and uh, we pull them together every second Wednesday of the month, nationwide. Today, <laughs> it's about accountants, every third Wednesday, accountants, barbers, doctors, dentists, funeral homes, landscapers, lounge owners, massage therapists, every third Wednesday. Then the last Wednesday, which is next Wednesday, all auto mechanics, all book authors, all bricklayers, all carpenters, all corner stores, all electricians, all martial arts, wrestling and boxing experts, all lawyers, all painters, plumbers, salespersons, and marketers. This is structure, you guys. This is structure. When I hear us talk about what we can do, this is about how do we align ourselves together so that whatever you do is tied down to something, it's anchored to something. So my number is 312. 405-8844. Please call me, text me. Let me know what industry you're in. Let me know that you're going to come on board with this money because the money is the only thing prohibiting us from widespread making sure that this is on every block, making sure that those blocks know your business exists. So we need to get those $12. If you are a business you want to do the 144, we need that. Either way, when you sow a seed in, now you can expect the harvest. And that's what we want to see happen. 312-405-8844. Thanks for watching. Peace.